All right, this is exciting. We have less than a month before the top distance runners in the U.S. hit the streets of Orlando in a quest to make Team USA and race in the 2024 Olympics. The 370 runners competing on February 3rd need all of us here in Central Florida to help make those dreams come true. So this morning on Western News Sunrise, Sonica Dange spoke with Chris Hughes with Track Shack to explain how we can all get involved. How exciting is this to have a trials event like this coming here to Central Florida? So we brought in Chris Hughes with Track Shack to talk all things community aspect of this race. Chris, I know it's been talked about. It's so important to be out there. Why? Just to support these athletes, you know, for some folks, uh, this is their Olympics. The yeah. Olympic marathon trials are unique to other qualifying events because there's 368 athletes and only three men and three women get to go. And for some folks, they've spent 12, 14, 16 years just trying to make the trials. You know, that's kind of their lifetime achievement as an athlete. That's a huge deal for the city to be hosting it, but just to support these people, you know, as they're out there accomplishing their lifelong dream and then some of them pushing for that next level dream to go to Paris, you know, as much crowd and community support as possible is just going to make it a better event. Especially with runners and when we talk about long distance running, it makes such a difference to the athletes themselves. I know we've talked about uh, where, where they feel the energy of the crowd out there and we, we have a special route that takes us through a few different loops. Can you talk about some of the big iconic sites of Orlando that the route's going to take people through? Sure. We'll start and finish lines at Lake Eola, right? So obviously kind of that crown Chris. jewel of downtown. So that that's huge. But, um, you know, it's going to go through the, the Milk District and, and some of the landmarks there, like Festival Park you'll see along the course. Um, and, and so just really some of kind of the, the key downtown areas. And, and that was important in mapping the course because we wanted it to highlight you know, or the true city of Orlando. We didn't want it to just be, uh, you know, through roads and, and right. on ramps and stuff like that. We wanted it to, to capture the character of the city and it's also flat and, and super fast, which is exciting. So where would you encourage people to come out and watch the race? So there's two primary fan zones. It's gonna be the City Hall Plaza and then there is the Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center as a fan zone and those are gonna be sort of ticketed experiences, kinda, you know, higher level, more VIP, but that whole surrounding Lake Yola area, the park itself is closed. But like I said, the start and finish are both outside of Lake Eola. So anywhere in that surrounding area uh, is a great place to kind of set up and, and get there early because we're expecting lots of people. But they can come into the store. Uh, they can get a cowbell if they're nearby or even if they live in one of the neighborhoods oh, that. that it runs by. And, and, you know, residents that are on the course are going to get letters. So if they get that and want to support it, come by the store, get a cowbell, stand, you know, on your front lawn and, and, you know, get that noise going for the athletes. But you can also come and get, we've got this uh, official uh, Marathon Trials race merch here at Track Shack. That, if you go shop.trackshack.com, you can find that. Um, and then we do have some on display in the store as well. You can just come down to Track Shack and pick it up. There's a quarter zip coming as well. Stay tuned to our social media for that. It would be great to have in a week like this. Yes, no doubt about absolutely. That. All right, so a lot of different ways that we can get out there, cheer our athletes, and really support the community here because this is such an exciting event. Chris, thanks for joining us. Absolutely, thank you. We hope that everyone at home will be there to be able to cheer on the runners February 3rd. You can also watch it at home live at 10 a.m. on Peacock and then at noon on WESH 2. You can get all the details on the race route and runners on WESH.com. All you got to do is click on the Olympics tab.